All you need to formulate nutritious and cost-effective feed for your pets are basically six ingredients consisting of a maize or corn, soya bean or the fish meal, palm kernel, which we say the PKC, wheat bran and then rice bran. And then you also need a premix. They are in different categories though, and then we shall look at them shortly. So depending on the situation, you may need an amino acid supplement. The ingredients are just listed. They are the same for every phase of the pigs, but the power is in the ratio of one ingredient to another. So we look at how to formulate for each pig at a different category. So the stages of uh, growth that you have, you have the starters, you have the pre-starter growers, finishers, and then the gestation cells as well as the lactation cells. I skipped the pre-starter stage on my farm, so I'm not going to talk about that here. But if you have the experience with pre-starter, you can let us know in the comments as we all learn. So with that said, for your pigs to be considered as data, they should weigh between 12 and 30 kilograms. So no matter the quantity, the feed ingredients should compose of 63% of uh, maize or corn, 18% of soya bean meal or fish meal, and then 5% of rice bran or the wheat bran. I also have a uh, 10% of PKC, the palm kernel cake, and you also need 4% of premix. The premix here is piglet premix. So before you start mixing the feed, you have to calculate the quantity of each component using the percentages I have just stated. For instance, if you want to formulate a 1 ton of uh, feed, which is 1000 kilograms, 60% of corn will be 630 kilograms of the feed. And then the soya to which is 18 will also be 180 kilograms of soya to be part of the feed. And then 5% of the rice bran or the wheat is 50 kilograms. And you have to do that in that order using the percentages until you get the complete 100%, which is the 1000 kg or 1 ton of feed you need. Moving on to a grower feed, your pigs should weigh between 30 to 70 to qualify as growers. Their nutrition or their feed should be made up of 64% corn, 14% of soya bean meal, 7% of rice bran or the wheat bran, and 12% of a PKC. And then the last one is 3% premix. Again, the premix here is grower finisher premix. Get the name right. The first one was piglet premix, but in the growing phase, you need the grower finisher premix. Take note of that. And the next stage is the finisher stage. Your pigs in this stage must weigh between 70 and 110 kilograms. The stage where you start thinking of making money because it is the time your pigs are market ready or getting to the phase of market ready. And with their feed, meat should be 62%, soya bean or soya milk should be 10, wheat or rice bran each, if you are using any of them, should also be 10%, PKC 15%, grower finisher premix 3%. Take note that spending too much on protein in this stage is a waste of resources. You, you are only hardening their bones and nothing more. The station stage is uh, for the pigs in their pregnant stage, like they are pregnant on the farm. So here, the weight doesn't count that much. Once you have service hair, she qualifies for this feed, especially if she's undergoing her pregnancy. And the composition, 50% corn or maize, and then it should be 6% of soy bean, 15% of rice bran, because you don't want her to get too fatty. And remember, fatty pigs struggle to give birth when the time is due. And it should also be made of 4% of saw premix. You have premix, different types of premix. Saw premix should be used in this category. Whether her first time or her last, she is a mother at this stage and she will be given a saw premix. And 25% of PKC here also. So there's a link to download a, a guide on what I'm just saying here in the description. You can check it and then you download it anytime you want to formulate. You just refer to it and do according to it. The last stage, which is the lactation stage, and then it is the sow that is breastfeeding her piglet. And again, we don't care about the weight. 58% should be maize or corn. She needs more energy to cater for the numerous piglets she's taking care of. And then 18% soybean meal, because what she eats is directly what the piglets will also take. In all cases, the piglet stage is very critical. Get it wrong and stunted growth set in. Piglet's diet should contain protein between at least 15 to 25%. Where 25% is used, you also need to adjust the other components. One thing also about feed formulation is that depending on your location, you cannot get exactly what I stated in the video here. 
milk for instance is an energy giving food so you look for similar ones with the same or similar content of energy in them you can replace one feed ingredient with another so let's look at some carbohydrate or energy giving source which can be used to replace meat so aside meat we also have millet rice bran like this contains some sort of uh, energy in it and the cassava or cassava juice also you can use that one as part of the feed you only need to process the cassava feed a bit okay something like you ferment it or you just dry it a little to eliminate some of the cyanide in it and you also have sweet potatoes which you can incorporate into your feed as a replacement for your meat we have feed brand also for instance it's also somehow rich in it but because you have already used it in the other formula you don't have to repeat the same thing again and you also have the brewers spent green if you have heard they are local brewers you just move to them you assess them you, you ask them to give them to you and you can incorporate that one as as well into your pig feed so like i said you can replace one for another just that the nutrient content varies and for the protein sources you can use something like a fish meal or bone and then a meal you also have the granite cake which you can use as energy protein source for your as protein source for your feed and then the copra cake is also one thing you can incorporate into it depending on your location if you have it just add it to your feed as part of the protein and obviously you have the pkc it's also a little bit of proteinaceous in nature and the next stage is the vitamins if you don't want to go and buy these vitamins pre-formulated ones in the shops you can let your animals uh, go around to grease or uh, okay so like the green forage we have around something like granite leaves there are some fish they eat granite leaves and it's also good for them and the leaves of capri can also be given to pigs in some stages the, if only they're eating it okay and we have the cabbage lettuce there are all things you can incorporate to replace the vitamin in your pigs diet one thing is you don't also have to force your animals to eat it if they are not eating Take note of each feed that your animals are not eating and avoid it. Don't force your animals to do what they don't want. Okay, because at the end, you, the farmer, you will be making the loss. For the animals, they don't really care about it that way. Just to make everything clear and short for you. Like I said, there is a link in the description to get a copy of it. You can refer to it whenever you want to from late feed. So they quickly do the adjustment and you'll be able to save yourself some cost in terms of feed formulation.